supposed to be your moment, ain't it? It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. It's supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Help me hit 260K. And listen up, man. Y'all really like this video, bro. This is probably, well, not probably. This is my most important video this year on this channel, bro. Very important, man. I'm not like these other uh, content creators, they call them. Um, I'm not over here gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and suck billion dollar dick for a goddamn video game logo my nigga i'm i'm not going to bro i'm, I'm gonna call him out bro and i'm doing it for y'all bro because truly this doesn't affect me i think this is i think this is scamming y'all let me know how y'all feel but before we get into everything about what patch 2 did mike wayne etc i want to tell y'all i figured out how to fix your glitched broken my player man because a lot of y'all was typing in the comments I didn't even know this was like a real issue like hella niggas because this this affects your, your centers too you know the the body type if y'all don't know i made a video yesterday go check it out so you'll understand fully but basically if you make new players or something or play in the my builder and you go too far it'll change all the body types on your player or whenever they do a patch it changes all the body types on your player i don't know it's weird as hell bro to fix it you make a new player, you do the same position, and you do the body type that you want. You go all the way through to the first game of my career, bro, and then you just quit out that hoe, and then you could go to your, um, then you can go to your player, and then all your builds are probably, then you can go to your player, and then you'll have the body type that you desire, and then you can delete the build or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's how you fix it, man. Big W's in the comments. Now look, bro, listen very closely to what I'm about to say. I know a lot of y'all are like stupid in the head and you lack intelligence, but listen to me, man. Listen, walk with me, man. Just walk with me. Give it a chance, my nigga. So people on Reddit, well, you know, they was just talking about shit, you know, complaining about 2K. Then someone makes a post saying 2K Lab and 2K Tuts ran test on interior defense and found no difference in the shot contest rating between a 25 and a 99 interior defense right these are two people with modded controllers they test things shit like that right but luba responds to these niggas okay listen he responds to these niggas and says they are correct the game looks at the player's block rating to determine the strength of contested shots at the rim this is all he says okay what does this create right what does this create? This is the one of the most complained about things in the game. How do I stop niggas from dunking on me? How do I, I have maxed interior D, I have maxed all this, I keep getting dunked on, oh my God, blah, blah, my strength is high, I keep getting dunked on, I can't stop getting dunked on. He confirms it, so then people are like, so after this, these guys figure out what interior D actually does. It helps it defend against post moves, basically, right? Okay? Now look, listen. He tweets out on patch two. This is what he tweets out. Players with interior defense and the rim protector badge will be dunked on less with today's patch. The block rating still determines the strength of the actual contest and block success. Let me tell y'all what the problem with this is, right? He never said he was going to fix this, right? So this means everyone reacted off of that. They're like, oh, okay. We're just going to make new builds and save badge points, attribute points, and make new builds or remake builds. YouTubers start saying, hey, make these type of builds, this, that. The word spreads to hundreds of thousands. I know everybody ain't got the game, but look. It, there's nothing wrong with fixing it. It's nice that they actually fixed it. But if you're going to make, if you're going to address Reddit and say they are correct in this right here, if you're going to address, it's okay if they look. Listen, 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 listen. 
it's okay if they fix things throughout the game blah 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 they they do patches they nerf things all that's okay but if you as the gameplay head developer say people are correct for something in the game and then you don't say that you're going to eventually fix it then then bro that that's like low-key scamming bro because almost anyone with any type of intelligence bro because you would no one you, you didn't even say it was a problem you didn't even say oh we meant to buff interior defense so it will help with paint defense like he didn't even acknowledge it was a problem so no one knew so any intelligent person is like hey i'm gonna eventually make a build or builds going further for your defense i'm out if i'm gonna be playing any defense and i don't want to get dunked on as much he didn't let anyone know that's that's scamming bro that, that that's crazy look mike listen if you listen to this video any devs if you listen to this video if you gonna address something let us know if you're going to try to fix it at least you have to you can't just address something you you let, let me give you all example say say for instance you didn't need to upgrade free throw to hit every single free throw and then people start finding out and then Baluba's like yeah you don't actually need to upgrade free throw to hit free throws um the upgrade stat for free throws it's only to hit the rim and to trigger swishes right and that's all he says and then later on he makes it a patch to where if you don't upgrade your free throw you're missing every free throw but you have this space and gap in between like you don't say it's an issue or nothing and then niggas just start making different builds and all this other stuff and now you just like waste it like it's crazy now look i didn't waste my money i didn't none of that bro all my builds i didn't make no new builds bro i only posted one video like the best lockdown build without interior defense hey man it still most likely will be viable and it'll be better than every any other lockdown anyone's posted because who knows how good your contest will be with that high ass block hall of fame rim protector and intimidator etc who knows actually how big paint defense got buffed and etc bro but all my builds so i don't want y'all saying i'm complaining and crying and all that other bullshit you lame ass niggas in the comments be saying man y'all be so damn annoying make sure you subscribe if you know all my builds they're built how i want to, them to be my lockdown has maxed interior that i made myself my power forward i could have maxed out the strength but instead i put the rest on interior so i'm cool bro like uh, it, it, it doesn't bother me if i was y'all if i was some broke boy if i was struggling you know if, if i didn't have you know ample sums of of money like i would be like what you know like Spencer, you, you gotta stand up for what's right man but anywho man overall it looks looking like patch 2 is a w y'all let me know how y'all feel about it man now look ronnie 2k has lost his fucking mind bro I don't usually have a problem with Ronnie 2K, bro. I know a lot of the community does, but um, what a lot of niggas don't realize is he's just the face. He don't have no say into shit, bro. He's just the face, and he's in charge of the logos, bro. He just the face, my nigga. So I don't get mad at Ronnie when something happens and say, like, always is hating on Ronnie. But Ronnie, lately, at least when this came out, he been talking shit. He talking shit to niggas. He going crazy, bro. Look, this dickhead chop, this um let me let me let me chill. <laughs> this dude chop, I guess made a video. Basically, what I just complained about, he's basically saying. So look, man, chop isn't usually right about a lot of things when it comes to 2K, but this he's actually right about. I'm going to show y'all a lot of tweets that Ronnie deleted. Like it's not going to be in perfect order, but look, this is basically the gist of it, man. Let's let's let's, let's, let's play what he got to say. So I'm not going to lie to you. 2K is really starting to frustrate me. So basically, as you guys could see, 2K is starting like to move promo, some hot to the game. So they're making certain <laughs> stats matter. They're making other stats not matter as much. They're buffing uh -huh. things that should have been buffed, which is fine, uh -huh. except for the fact that it costs $100 minimum mm, for you to upgrade shit. a player. Facts. So basically what this is doing is this is making us go make a new player because if you made a player knowing interior defense didn't matter 
Mm-hmm. Now you have to go remake it because now interior defense matters. So you just mm-hmm. put $100 into a guy for a player that now is useless. And this mm-hmm. is going to lead me to my main point of today's topic and something that is not talked about enough, okay? We've talked about the gameplay issues and now those have been resolved. Hey, Chalk, Chalk don't care about getting a logo no more. Yeah, you see what niggas don't care about a logo, how niggas be talking shit crazy. We talked about the rep issues and now that's been resolved. Something mm-hmm. that needs to be resolved and this has been a problem for as many 2K- Y'all always be like that complaining stuff don't work, but is it really complaining if it's like valid? No, it's not, bro. You criticizing a game so it could get better. Now 2K is at a way better spot. It was unplayable, my nigga. This is I can think of is number one, either VC prices need to drop. Facts. Okay, because it costs $100. Talk your shit, To badge a player out, $100 to- Talk your shit, nigga. Ain't no other game like that. Shit crazy. Y'all niggas need to talk more. Mm. Get yourself to an 85. VC needs to be easier to get because mm-hmm. when you play one game and get 200 VC, you're never going to be able to upgrade mm-hmm. naturally unless you pay $100 for it. And badge progression needs a badge progression needs a serious buff. Talk about it. Buff. Let's use Call of Duty for example. Imagine Call of Duty, right? Obviously, you get your starter guns that you can work with, but everybody starts with the same gun. So imagine Call of Duty saying, you know what? Until you put $100 into this game and until you put $100 into these guns, they're not going to shoot as fast as other guns because mm. that's what 2K makes you do. Mm. Chalk going deep with it. He made Ronnie respond. Ronnie don't usually respond. Ronnie be responding to niggas who used to have logos. I, I guess he feel like betrayed or something. I don't know. You're on a 60 overall and you have to pay VC in order for you to be able to play. Like there's no other game that's making you pay. Mm-hmm. To actually play and be able to win. Talk like, about it, 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 I hate to say pay to win, but it's really pay to win. And to be honest, you would think unloading a hundred dollars extra on top of an eighty dollar game, you would think that unloading a hundred dollars extra would allow you to just go and have fun. But no, you have to grind badges out, and badges are not easy to get, man. It takes like a week of a- it takes longer than a week if you're not a no life. Actually grinding in order for you to badge be taking me a month nigga <laughs> be taking niggas months nigga the player out why do i have to wait a week to play on a player that i just put a hundred dollars into like facts it's it's like these niggas are it's like i don't know bro the game could be a lot better and a lot more a lot less frustrating to so many of us of its consumers man we all love basketball bro we're not trying to just bash niggas we want a better experience for ourselves man we tired of being annoyed you know, it's a hate love thing, bruh. It's like, damn, I spent all this money upgrading this nigga and now I have to grind for weeks on end just to max him out? That shit trash, bro. Badge progression needs a buff. VC, I don't even get me started on VC. Like, I could really go in on VC. It costs $25,000 for a normal t-shirt when you're earning 150 to 200 VC a game. It just doesn't make mm. sense, bro. Somebody make it make sense for me. Mmm. Chalk mad he ain't been getting a logo, nigga going in. I see the annoying, I see even annoying talking shit about the game. You know that nigga be hush hush like a mouse, nigga. That nigga don't ever talk. But now since I guess shit, you know, he can't uh, be fading um, behind the screen and throw oops. I guess he is, he's, he's irate. I don't know, bruh. Like, you know. I heard they took his logo. <laughs> niggas, is, niggas is flipping. <laughs> niggas is flipping. But look, so I'm gonna show you all the tweets after the after this video right here. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see what this nigga's saying. Ronnie, with all due respect, man, you keep saying stop cheesing the game. Stop cheesing. I'm, I'm gonna show you all the tweets. What Ronnie is saying is fucking crazy. Like, what is this nigga talking about? The game. Well, number one, it would not make any sense to upgrade something that for years has been useless. Interior defense mm. has been useless. But again, I'm on a 6 3 point guard. I'm not on a 6 8 demigod slashing, shot creating, rim protecting demigod build. All right. I'm on a normal build. That has nothing to do with the VC prices, Ronnie. If the VC prices were okay, if VC was more affordable, if it did not cost $100, to get a player to 99. If it didn't take a week to two weeks to upgrade that player, mm. there's nothing for me to complain about. Why are you dodging the VC comment? Mm. This is not about you guys buffing interior defense. That's a W. That's a W. But what does that have to do with the VC and everything that I'm saying in the original video? Okay, so let's get into what this nigga Ronnie was saying, right? So he responds, it's gonna be all over the place. I don't even know if this shit's in order. Ronnie says, all due respect, but do you want us to improve the game or not? 
Here's an idea. Build the build you like to play with and are good at. Don't try to cheese. What does cheese have to do with any? People want to make builds. Like, how do niggas know what they're like? What are you talking about? We will try to stay. <laughs> bro, he, he did this shit with the dribbling shit too, bro. Ronnie, like what, what is Ronnie talking about? If niggas want a better system, a more fluid system, a more fair system, that don't mean they're trying to cheese, bro. But then Ronnie says, we will try to balance and stay committed to putting out the best product we can do and you can enjoy your favorite play style. Anyways, Ronnie says, stop cheesing and you won't have this problem. Play the build you're good at as one of the better competitive players in the world instead of trying to game it. Simple as that. Nigga's weird. So he's saying just make ass builds and just rock with it and don't try to... um maximize the possibilities he's saying if you try to maximize the possibilities and make the best build for you that um you're cheesing the game then he says you can't get mad and i have now seen you mad at us both ways do you want us to try do you want us to try to put out a balanced product or do you want us to sit on it seems like in our eyes we can't win either way so it's fine going to plead though please those we logically can't can't I don't know if y'all don't see how wrong that is for like a someone who's like in charge of like the 2K, like whatever. I don't know, like the face of it to like be talking like this. It's crazy. Then he responds to this random saying dudes really made builds without steel and inside defense like they weren't patching stuff. What, what are you talking about, bro? Then Ronnie says exactly. Then he quote tweets it and says, don't cheese and don't exploit. How many times am I going to say that? What, what is niggas talking about? Like niggas is being banned or something like what, 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 what are you talking about? First of all, why would niggas waste w worthless stats, bro? First of all, it's been proven in so many 2Ks that um, a 99 steal and a lower steal there's not much of a difference even with pickpocket it's all about bump steals bro so why would people waste attributes into that if 2k is never gonna fix it like what, what is he talking about like nigga like what a nigga is crazy niggas is like he's saying hey lower vc prices so people don't gotta go through so much pain when y'all change shit and this nigga's like stop cheesing what the fuck my nigga breeze breeze be speaking that real shit he say, he really said putting a 25 steal in a interior defense is cheesing. Then Bree says, no, trying to trick us into spending money on useless stats is the real cheese. They don't want you to see it for how it really is. Oh, God. Talk your shit, nigga. So, anywho, with this patch, I released my video yesterday before they released the patch notes. But um, I'm going to get into it, my boy. Make sure y'all sub if you're new. Hit that like button. Check out my past vids. All that bullshit. Now we can change the color of the shop meter. Um, That's cool. I wish everyone... I wish there wasn't a boost to shooting without the shop meter, bro. So I could actually use the shop meter this year. Because it actually looks pretty cool. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the shop meter. Um, Major improvements to the city. Less frequent contact dunks. And um, likeness. All this other bullshit. Okay, they, they improved some of my players. Frequency of contact dunks and alley-oops have been slightly decreased. That's a W. Multiple improvements to motion, including to take charge animation, V-cuts. What are V-cuts? Sprint launches and dribbling. Hey, y'all let me know what, what new y'all noticed. I ain't really noticed anything. Various improvements have been made to triple threat animations and post behaviors. Green machine badge will now pop up when it's um when it activates um they fix alley-oops being thrown from behind the board um apparently they made the city not lag anymore they fixed the issue where in the wreck when people quit you didn't get no progress no rep no nothing now you get that that's a big w now your friends list shows um only people who have the game which is a big w now the invite system works there's a strength bonus uh now being shown they fix physical attributes going up from 95 to 99 
and that's about it when it comes to all that park and my career shit man but anywho y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything man make sure y'all subscribe if you're new hit that like button follow me on twitter follow me on twitch sub to my second channel make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week drink a gallon of water a day adios man